DeKalb County, we have new information in the death of a high school senior. The medical examiner says there were no signs of trauma on the teenager who collapsed during dance practice and then later died. Her grieving family and friends are waiting to find out what took their loved one's life. CBS 46's Vince Sims, he joins us live at the school and Vince, a lot of people still questioning what caused this. Yes, they really are still questioning what caused this because this death was so sudden and shocking. This is actually the second day the school district had grief counselors here as everyone tries to wrap their mind around what happened. Senior Elise Purefoy was a member of the Arabia Mountain High School dance team. Monday morning during practice, she collapsed. The DeKalb County School District says officials responded quickly and contacted emergency personnel, but she did not recover. Now parents and students who knew Purefoy are left wondering what happened. She was nice, like she was on a dance in a cheer team. Um, she was really caring for like, I liked her, she was cool. They felt kind of close that it hit home being everybody's in the same age group. So it was a little uh, tough on them. I don't think it, it really had hit them yet that it could have been one of them. The DeKalb County Medical Examiner tells CBS 46 there were no signs of trauma to Purefoy. The investigation continues as they wait on toxicology results. Friends told Purefoy's family she was denied water at practice. Other parents of dance team members told me that's not true. The dancers were not denied water and they bring their own water to practice. I try calling the coaches for answers. This is Vince Sims uh, with CBS 46 News here in Atlanta. How are you? She hung up not wanting to talk. The Cap County School District would only say they're working with the appropriate departments to assess the events. Other parents are just wanting answers for the safety of all students. If that's the case, somebody need to do something about it. You know? Whether it's the coach, the school, the whole system or something. The medical examiner has not said when those toxicology results could come in, but we're going to stay on top of this story following the latest results for you. Reporting live in DeKalb County, I'm Vince Sims, CBS 46 News.